Hello and welcome to another video. I recently did an out of the frame or out of bounds tutorial where I used this stock image. But before doing that video I removed some distractions. It was this light as well as this light post here. I've got a feeling it was this one as well. So this time we're going to have a look at some of the different tools we can use to remove distractions from our images along with some other tips and tricks. First of all we're going to remove the skateboard. We're then going to remove the light before finally removing the distractions from this area here. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the background layer. So we're going to use Command J or Control J. That's Command J, Control J. Next, over to the toolbox. We're going to pick up the lasso tool and I'm going to come down to tool options. It's the polygonal lasso. This is the one we're after. Okay, coming up to the skateboard, pressing and holding down the space bar, press and hold down command or control. You've now got the zooming in tool, zooming into this region here, just moving it out slightly. Click down, I'm going to come around the outside, so just coming up to this region here. Now we've got a, a bit of a curve around the top. Wouldn't it be handy if we had the freehand lasso? Well, if you press and hold down the alt or the option key, we have now got the freehand lasso and I can just quickly come around this region like this. Round we go back to this point and at this stage release an alter option. I've now got the polygonal lasso back so we can continue down to this region coming around the outside coming back so we get that little circle that means we can now join up our selection to remove the skateboard. We're going to head up to edit. We're going to come down to fill selection, which sounds a little bit strange. Coming over where it says use, got black, I'm going to click down. We've got foreground, background. Down here, we've got content aware. Let's click on that. I'm now going to come over to OK. And what this is going to do, it's going to work out the pixels inside our selection, outside our selection. It's going to match it up and it's going to do a absolutely superb job. Command D or Control D. And there it is. Let's have a look at something just a little bit more complex. So coming down to this region. Right, this time I am going to change the lasso to the freehand lasso. Now making sure, don't forget, we've got this character. We have also got his shadow. Let's start off around this part. Going to come down another very loose selection around. A bit more of a pattern in the background this time. So it's going to be a little bit more complicated to... Uh, blend together as opposed to clear blue sky. Round we come, just joining up. That will do nicely. Drop down with this part. Edit as we did before. Fill selection, content aware, clicking on OK. And once again, an absolutely superb job. Command D or Control D to remove that selection. Pressing the space bar. Let's move up to this region here. Let's take a look at removing the lights. Now for this, I'm going to click on the new empty layer. There it is, layer two. I'm going to double click. Now this is what I'll call my cleanup layer. So we're using its uh, cleanup, that'll do. Just pressing enter or return to apply it. Heading over to the toolbox. We're going to pick up the spot healing brush. There it is, there's spot healing brush. And I'm going to use type proximity match. The important thing here is to make sure you've got sample all layers is ticked so make sure this is ticked i've got a hard edge brush it's a 50 pixel brush coming out to the image i'm just going to quickly go around here going around the light as well making sure i get that all in releasing it just clicking down a little bit of a spot there looks pretty good bringing the brush over the top i'm going to click down now hold down your pen or mouse now press shift on the keyboard hold down the shift key release your pen or mouse Come to the bottom of the post, click down. You've now got a straight line. That has done an amazing job here. Look what it's done with the cloud as well. Okay, let's zoom in on this region. So that is spacebar. Hold down the spacebar. Now hold down command or control. Zoom into this area here. And I'm just going to come around here. And because I'm using a hard edge brush, I can get in quite close. In fact, I can get in really close and just nibble away which I suppose is quite a good expression for this. Just nibble away at those uh, remaining bits and pieces from the light. Pressing the spacebar, hand tool. Let's move across to this light here, which looks like it's actually supporting him. So let's find out if it is. 
I'm going to click down again, taking it right to the edge. Don't forget, I've got a hard edge brush over like that. Yeah, amazing. No, and he still stood there as well. Coming down over the clouds, done a really good job with that. Coming down to the top of the light here, just coming to the rest of the bits and pieces, taking that tree in as well. Looks like half a tree. <laughs> right, coming over these again, just clicking down. Don't forget that hard edge brush is allowing us to come right into the edge. Right, moving myself across using the space bar, I removed this light as well from the uh, out of the frame video. I will put a link to that video at the end of this one. So around here, over these various bits and pieces, coming down over these bushes, these shrubs, releasing it. Fantastic job. Just clicking down that one little piece there. It looks there, that's better. Absolutely superb. Just pressing alt or option, you can see the before and after. Pressing the space bar, let's move ourselves along to this region. Space bar, command or control, we need to zoom in closer. We're now in its 200%. Uh, now for this, I'm going to use the clone stamp tool. Now using the clone stamp tool and coming around these regions here is going to be a little bit tricky. So to help us out, once again, we're going to pick up the lasso tool and we're going to select the polygonal lasso. Right, bringing it out. Now looking at it, we've got the skateboard, but we've also got shadows. So we need to come below those shadow areas. I'm going to click down. I'm going to come over to the heel of his shoe. Trainer, sneaker, call it what you will. Now this time I am not going to change it to the freehand lasso. Instead, I'm going to continue using the polygonal lasso. Just coming up as we, when we come to the curved area here, just going to bring it round, clicking down a few times, taking care not to double click. That's where it rushes off and it joins up. Okay, coming up the sock. I'm going to do a quick job with this as we come around. I know you'll do a much better job. But around we come the leg and up around this region. It's a bit like, I suppose you could say, it's a bit like putting down masking tape before you do any painting and decorating. The better the job you do, the better the or less chance you'll find of getting paint on your windows or door frames or whatever you are masking. Just thought of that analogy. We'll have to use that again. Right, up we come around this area, just clicking down, coming out for that crease here, clicking down again, up like this and round we come as we can see the next part is going to be much quicker once we get up to there because we can shoot down the shorts like this across to the other side and there we are we are now on the home leg sorry they don't get any better round we come onto his sock like this just bringing it in a little bit. Because I'm using the polygonal lasso, particularly when I come to a region like this, I'm just gonna press the space bar. Right, releasing the space bar, you can see the polygonal lasso back. Where I'm coming round a bit, I'm not using a straight line with this. So I'm just making it a little bit sort of jagged. You can get some rough edges with the polygonal lasso. I'll show you how we can smooth those out in just a moment. Come around the front of his shoe, coming back, just looking for that circle. Where is it? Double click in and that'll join it up. Okay, pressing the space bar. There is our selection. There is our masking tape. And don't forget, we are on the clean up layer. Next, we're going to come up to select. We're going to come down to modify. We're going to come across to smooth. Now, smooth is going to smooth out all those jagged areas. And we're going to sample radius of one pixel is fine. We're going to click OK to that. In fact, we can head back up. To select, we can come to feather. We can feather it by one pixel. That'll be fine as well. Over to the toolbox. Let's pick up the clone stamp tool. Now with this, I am using a soft edge brush. It is 15 pixels, which is going to be a bit small. I'm going to use the right hand square bracket. Let's take it right the way up in size. Let's go for a 60 pixel brush. Again, the important thing is make sure you are sampling all layers. That is important. Make sure we've got a little tick here. Okay, zooming out, which is spacebar. It is alt or option to this region. Right, what I'm going to do, because looking at the image, 
here you can see the wall. I'm going to come across to the top of the wall. I'm going to press down the Alt or the Option. We're going to click down. We're going to pick up our pixels from this area. So this is our target point. Coming over, you can see we get a little preview. If I just bring it to somewhere we can see it, that looks better. You can just see that gray area where we got the wall sloping back. You can see a little bit of a gray area. I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to match that in like this. That looks pretty good. I'm coming right over the sock there, so we're in over the edge. And I'm now just going to very, very quickly, because we've masked it all off, I can come around like that, just filling it in. And it's done a really good job. Spacebar, Command or Control, let's zoom in and take a look. Yes, really like the job that's done. A little bit of uh, background showing there. I'll show you how we can get over that in just a moment. In fact, let's do it now. Select. We're going to come to Modify. We're going to come across to Expand. We're going to expand it once again, one pixel. Notice the way that selection jumped out a little bit. I've still got the wall there selected, so I can come and I can just go over that. That looks better. Looking around the rest of it, do I need to do any more? Let's do a little bit there. And there it is. Okay, next, we're going to do this region. Now, I don't want to put blue sky in, which is what we have. We've got trees here, we've got trees here, and over here we've got more trees. Handy. We'll move these in, but the selection we've got comes right the way down. So let's just move it back into this area. I'm going to come over to the toolbox. We're going to select the polygonal lasso. I'm going to come down and I'm going to go to the subtract from selection. Right, let's zoom in a little bit closer. So that's spacebar, command or control into this region here. Bring in it just there, so we're just on top that region on the outside of the sock. There it is, that looks pretty good like that. Coming across, once again taking it right outside our sock, clicking down, coming around the outside, making a very loose selection around here. Coming back up, and I'm going to double click when we get that little circle, wherever it is. Right, quickly changing it to S. Let's give us back our clone stamp tool. You can see there it is, don't forget. It's only going to come to the outside, so I'm not going to worry. We've still got our selection. Should I say the outside? It's the inside. Right, spacebar, alter option. Let's zoom out. Let's go to this region here. Let's pick up our tree from over on this part. Let's just come over a bit more. Pressing alter option, we're going to click down here. Let's come across. I'm going to just transplant our tree. There's the sky going in. Round we go, like that making sure we get it all in. That matches up quite nicely. That's done a really good job. Spacebar, Command Control. Here we go to this region here. I think what I need to do now is just pick up some pixels from this point. So this is our target point, pressing Alter Option, clicking down, coming over. The reason for filling it in just here is I'm looking at the tree line on that part and I think it will come across. So that looks much better like that. Don't dislike the way those grasses are growing over the top. That will do nicely. I'm now going to use Command D or Control D. That's Command D, Control D to remove that selection. Let's have a good look around. That has done a really good job, like with the way that's looking. I'm going to drop the size of the clone stamp tool right the way down to this area. Let's just pick up some pixels from this point. Just going to come i'm just going to soften off the edge there don't forget i've got a soft edge brush we've dropped it right down you can see that little cross that is now where we're picking pixels up from and you can see we're just placing it down slightly behind as we just move our way across just softening off the edge don't forget we're in at 300 percent with this so in reality it's not going to show that much however i think it'll just pay to put a little bit of extra work in. Round we come like that. Soften it off well. Right, spacebar. We're going to use alter option. Let's zoom out. Let's take a look around. Yep, done a terrific job. We've got this area here as well. So let's just zoom in. I'm just going to quickly, I'm not going to do the rest of it. I'm just going to do this one part up here because there's something else I want to show you. Again, size of the brush. Still got the clone stamp tool. So just using the right hand square bracket even. Clicking down here and I'm just gonna quickly go over this part like this, reducing the size of the brush down, changing my points where we're picking it up. 
them up from and coming over like this and we can come right up to the edge but I'm getting a little bit of like a foggy edge now don't forget I have masked it off and you can do things and you think oops made a bit of a mistake if you pick up the eraser tool now with a very large eraser tool let's drop it down in size using the left hand square bracket that caught me out but you couldn't tell right coming down to 35 pixels i've got a hard edge brush yes is what we are using i can now come over this and i can just bring this back like that that looks better just using the space bar that i get it all in i think so just over a little bit more you can see a bit of a fringe there pressing s again and just coming up and removing that color and there it is job done so that's how i'd use it if i didn't make the selection but you can see doing it to a clean up layer does allow you to come back and it allows you to go over just to tidy things up using command zero control zero we can go to fit on screen the reason for duplicating the background layer is you can look around and if you think has it done a good job here yes it has what about if you want this uh Where's he gone? Skateboard. There it is. That's my brush. Dude, back again. Yes, he looks quite important in the image. And I'm just going to click down, make sure you're working on the right layer. Click down, going over it. And as we can see, this area here, that is where he was. Right, folding this down out of the way. Coming to the background layer, I'm going to press Alt or Option, clicking on the little eye icon. There it is with all the distractions. There it is, removing the distractions. Just cleans the image up nicely. So go on, give it a try using Command-0, Control-0 to go to fit on screen. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Give it the thumbs up if you have. And don't forget to subscribe so there's plenty more videos to come. Click that little bell icon too. That way you'll receive notifications every time a new video is posted. But until the next time, it's happy imaging and take care.